Hey everybody, welcome to Hey Man. Uh, my name is Josh. Hi, I'm Jacob. And uh, hey man, hey man, what's, what's up? And what's up with you? Not much, just chilling in my Mountain Dew shirt. Yeah, you are chilling in your Mountain Dew shirt. Oh yeah, this is the best Mountain Dew. Baja Blast. You know, you can see it. This is this is the this is the stuff right there. First of all, fucking yuck. This this I look straight I, I just, up the only yuck. the only time I'm drinking Mountain Dew Baja Blast is in a slushy form from Taco Bell when I get Taco Bell. That's it. I think the only way I'm I'm drinking it if someone's like, look, you got 48 hours to live. Really? That's when you're drinking Mountain Dew? It's with 48 hours to live? Just to, I don't know, to try it. You've never tried it? I've tried it. I think it's fucking yuck. Well, look, don't get me wrong. It's radioactive. Like, it is not good. But, I, you know, I went through phases. I went through a big Code Red phase, Code Red Mountain Dew phase, for a couple years. Yeah, yeah. We, You and I, have we went through different phases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, had, I had more appealing candy and soda at my age than you did as a teenager. You have the worst soda and candy. That is a disagree. Listen, dude, you you're got... You're going to tell me you're going to take your fucking, like, Charleston chews over what I got, like a Kit Kat? You don't think we had Kit Kats, dude? How, how old how, do you think how, I how am? Long, how long Kit Kats You don't think we had Kit Kats? What, in the 70s? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever had a whatchamacallit? No, probably for a good reason. Nah, dude, a whatchamacallit was the fucking best. Why, why, is, it, why is it still cra- here? Why isn't it still here then? Uh, I don't know. Probably you, because it was bad and got no, discontinued. Uh, can you please Google where I can get a whatchamacallit? I will Google it for you. It's all one word, whatchamacallit. No, I thought it was seven words. Yeah, of course it's one word. How many? Yeah. Well, whatchamacallit. Right, right, right. <laughs> but it's all, it's four <laughs> words smashed together, obviously. <laughs> but wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. So what, let me just where say to get a. Oh, I'm gonna try and spell this right. Call it. Watcha. Watcha. Ma. ma call, call it. it. Can I, I order it. one? Candy bar. DoorDash. Fuck yeah, dude. There's still things. Yo, Walmart, DoorDash, DoorDash. Do- a, apparently, DoorDash. Smiths. A watcha call it is Jacob. Now it I, looks I, like a wafer. I, I'm gonna tell you this. It's not okay. There are a couple that I, you know, the Mars bar I was meh on. It was just like a smaller Snickers. Yeah, they're all right. But like the- Cool packaging though. Dude, the whatchamacallit is so good. But like the $100,000 bar- 100 grand bar. Stop it. Stop. 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 It says- It's called a $100,000 bar. 100 grand on it. It doesn't say $100,000 bar. It's called $100,000 bar. That is false. Yo, we've, dude. T- we've talked yeah, about and you've this been already. you've wrong every time we've talked about it. Oh, really? Yo, oh, 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 yeah. No, because I think they adapted with the times. I think when you were a kid in the 1800s, it was a $100,000 bar. And now it is a hundred grand bar. Okay, but then I'm right. No, you're not, because the name was changed. It's Now it's hundred grand bar. So get, with, it, the, get with the time, pops. It was also... Look, man, if it was started out as the $100,000 bar, then that's what I get to call it. I'm grandfathered in. No. I'm grandfathered in. No, that's not how that works. Fuck yeah, it is. Oh, my God. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna have to, by the way, let me yo, just say You're this. telling me I'm going to have to look just up. Like, just, like, just like everything else, your generation has gone extra, dude. So there's like, it's like the fucking, the, you know, all the different crazy colored powders and there's 8 million different candies. Why do you need 8 million different kind of candies? Get me some chocolate. Get me a few Skittles, a Starburst. You walk into those giant candy stores now? Yeah. Who needs what? No, like, but, but it's one for any different type of person. It's just like there's so many different things. Yeah, like, but nobody needs like cherry, cola, and blueberry combined flavor. Licorice. That's the dumbest fucking licorice. Red Black, maybe one other. Black licorice shouldn't be a thing. What? Black licorice is might be one of the single worst things on this planet. I, I I will put a caveat on that. Okay. I like the actual black licorice, but I don't like other things that taste like black licorice. I don't like sambuca. Do you know what sambuca is? I think I know what it is. But it's the, like a black licorice. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, t- yeah. That's also wrong. Black, yeah, I don't like that. No, 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 no. That whole statement, that caveat you put on it was wrong. Black licorice, whether it's just black licorice or things that taste black, like black licorice are all bad. All of them are bad. But black licorice in itself is one of like, it could be like top five worst things on the planet. 
Black what are you saying black licorice is the worst candy? Worse than those peanut butter, those peanut shaped fucking things that we used to throw at each other? No, those are worse, but then all the but almond again? joys are up there too. Almond joys are delicious. Almond dude. joys are awful. Chocolate, coconut, if you give out almond. if you give out mounds or almond joys, it's like giving out an apple. Stop it. So you are Stop so it. Wrong. Stop it. Stop it. Coconut is delicious. Stop you don't it. like coconut? I don't like coconut. You don't like coconut? No. The only time I like coconut is on the Girl Scout cookies as Samoas. Yeah, dude. So if you like Samoas, you like a mounds. No. That's terrible, too. Too much coconut. Coconut. I feel like in order to like coconut that much, you have to have gone through some shit. Coconut. Do you, do you think coconut is like a comfort uh, I think so. who's been through some uh, shit? I think so. Because <laughs> all, yeah. all the joys and gonna, mounds gonna, are both bad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put this out to the people listening right now. Look, all the old heads are going to agree with you because they're past a certain age to where they enjoy coconut that you much. You think only old people like an Almond Joy? Yo, is there anybody my age who enjoys an Almond Joy or a mound? Please let me know. Thank you. Or younger. If there's someone who's younger than me that enjoys an Almond Joy or a mound, let me know. I, I'm going to tell you right now, the people who like Almond Joys have good taste. No, they're all just over Chocolate, a certain age. Chocolate, almond, they're coconut, They're all over dude. a certain age. I'm going to give I'm going right to go now. straight Joey from Friends. Chocolate, good. Coconut, bad. Good. Almond, good. good. Yeah. The one thing in the middle was bad. That's what you forgot. All right. Well, let's just get past it. What yeah. were, let me just say that just, I will say, and I'll, let me put a, uh, just a period at the end of this. It's much like candy is much like, it's such a, epitomizes your generation where they, there's too much. There's when you go into those candy stores, it's too much. You don't need, like I said, you don't need a Coke bottle that tastes like a Skittle that has chocolate on it. Like, why the fuck do you need that? But you don't. Right. So, but who, but who cares? It's just option. It's, like, they're not setting up that whole store for you to walk in and buy one of everything. Yeah, but it's overwhelming. What do I need? I don't need 70,000 cartoons options to watch. Do why, I need 70? Why not? What if you don't want to watch something and you're in the mood for something else? It, it's just like, it, for me, it's like a mood store. Like I go in, sometimes I don't want sour candy, but I really want 37 different types of chocolate. So they have that. If I want six, if I want a bag full of six or seven different sour candies, I can grab that and put them all in a bag. It's for me, it's a mood store. It depends on what I'm feeling at the moment because I'm not always feeling chocolate and I'm not always feeling sour. I'm I'm with that. I'm with there being chocolate so and the, sour, so but there doesn't need arguing? to be a thousand sours and eight thousand chocolate. But that's the point. It's a mood thing. No, sometimes, it's your sometimes, ADD generation that can't be like, I no, want no, the, yeah, no, dude, no. You sometimes, fuck, go, 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 sometimes go. it's caramel filled chocolate. Sometimes it's crunchy. Sometimes it's like a wafery. Sometimes it's a chocolate covered cinnamon gummy bear. That's shit I like. Chocolate. Is that exist? Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. That is my Yo. exact example. Why do I need 37 flavors of Mountain Dew? Why? Have you never tried a chocolate covered cinnamon? Uh, Outstanding. The worst thing I've ever heard of. It is amazing. Let me tell you right now. A cinnamon gummy bear covered in chocolate is one of the greater things I've ever had. I'm out on chocolate with a gummy bear. Yeah, see, I thought I was too until it was cinnamon flavored. I'm in on chocolate covered pretzels. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm out on a chocolate gummy bear. I don't think the chocolate should be gummy. I don't like the combination of that taste, that candy with that texture. Uh, don't knock it till you try it. I just did. Then I, that's still what I'm saying. Is don't <laughs> knock it till you try it. <laughs> By the way, my response was the correct follow on to what you just said. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know why. Well, listen, you know, the way I wanted to start the podcast went out the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. It did. It flew out the fucking window. Yeah. As usual, I come in with a plan and we, we never stick to nah. it. But let's go to it. Um, First of all, yep. tomorrow is tomorrow. That didn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, you're so, like one of those shitty genies in a box that you hand a dollar, and he's like, "Tomorrow is tomorrow. Goodbye." I'm like what the? F it's like that Disneyland. It's like that Disneyland genie in a box or the Santa Monica Pier one. Uh, uh, it's like Alcazar or whatever the fuck his name is, <laughs> where he prints out a piece of paper after you give him five bucks, yeah. and he just printed out a piece of paper that says, "You so saw the movie Big, right?" 
with uh, what's his face? Um, Thomas he, Hanks. Thomas Hanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw that, right? Yeah. Okay. It's been a minute, but yes, yes. Okay. Um. So, guys, next week we're in Tampa. I think oh. it's sixth and the seventh. Is that right? Seventh and the eighth. That's what we're I only meant. there for a Friday and a Saturday. Yeah, we're actually gonna fly out of here on Thursday. Just so you know. Sick. Okay. Okay. That's fun. Um. So we uh we're in Tampa the seventh and eighth of July at Side Splitters. Yo. Those shows always sell out. Everybody. Uh, it's gonna be hot as ticks balls. Jesus. Uh, in Florida, so you want to come inside and um and have some laughs. We always have a good time down there. Bring your moist self. <laughs> 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 Remember that um Friday night late shows are always the mushroom show. Yep. So not for me, just for him. Come one, come all. That sounds gross, but it isn't. That was the name of a porn that I watched. Come one, come all. Yeah, it sounds like an unfortunate one. Hilarious. Um and um. Remember, here on the podcast, uh, tell a friend. We, we're having a whole lot of good fun on here. Um, the numbers are climbing. But um, the only way to uh, get new subscribers is to get new people to notice. So if you're having a good time listening, um, tell somebody. Tell your mama. Tell your friends. Post a clip. If you see something you guys like, you know, we're always posting clips. If you post it on your story, we gladly, we gladly appreciate it. Comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. We just put out the tour schedule. The response has already been overwhelming. I've heard some from some venues where ticket sales are already going crazy. We like that. So, uh, But we're coming to your city, man. We're, we're going to be in your city or near there. And if you don't see it on the schedule, I promise you... It will we'll be there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Some other cities that are going to be announced soon are in the Northwest and in, in, in Canada and UK and Europe are going to be announced soon. And so... Canada, I will not miss you this time. I know where my passport is. Make sure you go to ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates. Uh, I mean, before we get into everything else, I want I do want to talk to you... Okay. I think I've mentioned it a couple times on this podcast. The idea that I have that we're going to add to the feed... Um, and it's going to be a podcast where you and I talk to people. Now, it can be, it could be a parent and their kid, or it could just be a person who has kids and also obviously had parents. Mm -hmm. But we're going to talk to people about their relationships with their parents, how it shaped them, their relationship with their kids, you know, what they wanted to take from their parents, what they wished they hadn't taken from their parents, mm -hmm. what they'd like to pass on to their kids, what they, what they don't want to pass on to their kids, how their relationship with their parents shaped who they are, um, uncomfortable moments in childhood. Just, I've had so many people reach out to me, dude, about our relationship in particular mm -hmm. and how um, it's aspirational for them. And it's super humbling. Um, and I'm super grateful for all of you. Um, and it's, it's, uh, incredible to hear things like that, but I, I'd love to hear other people's experiences. And if somehow you and I talking to people about their experience, and if somebody brings their kid on the podcast and, right. and you can help that relationship, I, I think it's a, it would be fascinating like a cool mini therapy session almost. Yeah. Some, but I, but I, a little lighter, you know, yeah, but, yeah. but definitely um, and I, I, um, at first I thought it'd be fun just to have other dads and sons on there and I was going to name it fathers and sons, but, but that limits it too much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Cause yeah, yeah, there's yeah. mothers and daughters and there's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's, there's sons and mothers as well. Or yeah. Fathers and, also, and, daughters. and also some people who just might come on by themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, or so, someone who had like a different father figure in their life and like, yeah. you know, stuff like that. So I would love, um, yeah. If you have some podcast name suggestions for that podcast, I had thought about Family therapy, but that feels too heavy. Family Ties already show. That was a TV show, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Family Ties was a show with Michael J. Fox. Family Affair? Um, No, but I think that was a show, too. Was it? It's a family affair. Um, I, I don't know. We'll think about it. Did We were going to get a, um, an email. Yeah. Do, you, do you think we have an email? For Hey Man? Absolutely. Yeah. We made one. For sure, a hundred percent. But I will have to make another one. I'm gonna make one after the show, and I'm gonna assume that this isn't taken. Um, it's gonna be the name of the podcast. It's gonna be Hey Man Podcast at Gmail dot com. Um, let's do Hey Man. But if we do exclamation point, is that already? We're just gonna do Hey Man Podcast. Yeah, but what if that was the one that I did before? 
I'm going to give two options. Okay. Yeah, but two options. Two options. Just, just they just got to try one or the other. If, 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 why don't we just do one? Why don't we do Hey Man three A's two exclamation points? Is that too complicated? No. Do you say what you want to do? Let me. Yeah, because I bet you nobody has that. Hey Man three A's. Or two how about no exclamation points? But I don't know if I did the one with the exclamation point or without it. I know I did Hey Man podcast. You. How do you know you did Hey Man podcast? I don't. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. I'm not even going to tell you what it might be. This is the clip that we're going to post. Look in the caption for what the email address is. Cool? I'll put it there. Thanks. <laughs> Fucking. Every option I gave, he was like, no, I did that. But no, did no. you? It was either, hey, here's what it was. It was either, hey, man, pod, hey, man, exclamation point pod at gmail.com. Why would it be that? Hey man pod at an exclamation at gmail.com. Hey man podcast at gmail.com or hey man podcast exclamation point at gmail.com. By the way, I want to say in every single one of those ones you just named, that I messed up. No, at some point in time, your battery kind of died and yeah, you stopped yeah, yeah, pronouncing yeah, yeah. a word. And but it was funny because it was a different word in each one of those sentences. Yeah. Yeah. Which I, I thought was really strange. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it was uh, not my best yeah. read. Yeah. 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 I, I also was... do want to say this podcast is, is being sponsored by uh, Best Day Brewing. Oh really? Yeah. Oh nice. And listen, everybody, if if you're like me and you don't drink, um, and you are looking for a non-alcoholic beer that actually tastes like beer, this is the best one out there. It is true. I I I don't drink as much anymore, but when I drink, I'm more of a tequila guy now. Me too. But that that beer does or that non-alcoholic beer does legit taste like a lager I would get somewhere. And I'll tell you what else I like about it more than the other ones. It's in a can. Well, I I grew up drinking beer out of a can, so I love so the did I, I love the and I don't get to because I don't drink soda, so I never get to and so the by the way I, I didn't know I did that that sound so well. Don't say you did it well. It's the best. That sounds exactly like it. It sounds zero like it. That's exactly like it. Are you going to find the sound? Oh, I'm going to pull up a sound right now because I'm... Are you telling me it doesn't sound right? You're missing... Is that it? Sound, no, of, sound of a can. You do it. You do it. You do it. No, because I know I can't do it. Let me just hear you do it. Those, me, are, those are cans of... That's... Hold on. Let me hear you do it. Let me hear you do it. Hold on. Do it into the mic. Do this into the mic? Yeah. There was like three separate sounds to that. Yeah, but I was just doing the first part. The... Yeah, but I just did the... No, none of that is close to what you did. The first part is... Sp that part, spot on. You're going... When it's like a... When it's like a tongue... Like, I can't do it. But it's like, you know, have you ever heard someone like, like, clap, like almost make that sound with their tongue where it snaps on the top of the roof of their mouth? Yeah. That's what that sounds like. You're no, just it sounds like a. Uh. <laughs> one more time, one more time, one more time. Not yeah, even close. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, well, I would have been further off than you. That's why I wasn't doing it. Yeah, but I still think when we're doing this stuff, you can't hold back. You just got to do it. No, well, that uh, was just me proving a point, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I'm from here on out in this podcast, we're both trying it. Okay. What's, what's the worst thing? It, it was. It was more like it was like a. Mm, can that, that make the right sound? But it was like a. It's like a. Yeah, stronger. Like a, you think it's like a. That's but, not it. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Like when someone can like snap their tongue on the roof of their mouth and yeah. make that loud like snapping noise. That's yeah. what it sounds like. But not what either of us did. By the way, and and I do want to get into what we were talking about in the car. But I just want to say, first of all, dude, you um, you're doing so great on stage. Yo, Columbus, Saturday night. You're doing so great. I stage. can't wait to get those and watch them because that was for sure. I think my two favorite, my two favorite sets I've done so far. You're doing so great. I man. really, I really appreciate it. I had a good, we had a good time in Columbus. I also want to tell you, dude, I'm really, I'm really proud of you. Look, to, to me, confidence is like, and I heard this woman, Mel, I forget her last name. I've been listening to her. She's incredibly inspirational. But she was like, confidence is just not being scared to try. Yeah. Right? And, you know, 
you, without knowing that you were going to do stand up comedy one weekend in Austin, I was like, Hey, you're opening. Mm -hmm. And you were like, what? I was yeah. like, you got to go on stage and do some time. Yeah. And not only doing time, dude, but going up first in front of a cold room mm -hmm. and you have just taken that and gone with it. And I, before we get into what you want to talk about, I want to know if that has, because there was a time when you were scared to stand in front of people and talk. Yeah. So I want to know if, if doing this has uh, changed your perspective on anything at all, made you more confident in any way, it's, if it's changed any other aspects of your life. Uh, look, I've always been a pretty confident person person, especially in my later years, just like talking to people in general. Yes. Like you could put me in a room of people that I don't know. Yes. And I could sit in a circle and we could f end talking 20 minutes later like we'd been talking for 10 years. I agree. Um, so that's, I will say I've been a very, I'm happy to have that talent and because not everybody has that and you, not everybody can do that. True. So I'm very happy to have that. But I will say like growing up and you know, when I did my first thing on Chelsea or when I first came on stage with you, like it was a lot of it was a lot of nerves because even school projects, like I couldn't stand up in front of people without shaking, right? Um, later on in life, like I did that poetry slam when I was a senior in I high school. Yep. I think that I think that helped a lot because for me, that was in front of my peers as as a senior. And I that I really remember is what kind of knocked a lot of the fear out. And then when we started just getting on stage together and started doing the Q&A, which feels like you know, almost three years ago. Wow, okay. Right? Yeah. Because... Yeah, I think that's right. But really just consistently for six months. Yeah. Because you yeah. were coming maybe once a month, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and it just, you know, it, it's built up over time. Like my confidence just on stage is built up over time. I wouldn't say it's added any confidence into my daily life because I'm, I'm already a pretty, con or was a pretty confident person. Also just a people person, yeah. you know? So I, I feel comfortable around people I can make a conversation with. Yeah. So it's definitely like my confidence on stage is definitely gone up. Yeah. A hundred percent. And that helped a lot from the Q and A's, but also going on stage by myself was, I did that first when I was in Sydney in Australia. That was yeah. nerve wracking. Yeah. I was, I was nervous going up there, but you know, the next step will be crowd work. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. The next, I know. next step will be crowd work. Yep. I just got to figure out what I want to talk about or how I want to do it because I've seen everybody do, like I've seen so many people do crowd work. Yeah. I just, I don't want to take anything from somebody else's crowd work that I've watched. Do well, you, know you don't want to use anybody else's lines, of course. Right, right, right. That's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah. I have to now, I have to, the thing for me is like, I know what I want to ask. I just now have to figure out how to ask it without sounding like somebody else. What do you mean? What do you want to ask in crowd work? Or like, mean? or like, you know, like talk to couples or like, you know, like, like talk to people. Oh, I thought you meant, I, I mean, when people talk to you unsolicited. Oh, 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 uh, I, I did that. I did that. All right. Uh, I've started just like cheering with them. Like if someone will just be like, like uh, when we were in Columbus, there was one woman or a couple people who were just like, like, fuck yeah. And I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, absolutely. And then yeah. looking Crocodile Dundee up top, West Virginia Dundee. He was amazing. I, that guy was great. He was amazing. I really enjoyed him. I, he was, I, I, I don't remember his name, but my man, if you're listening, what an energy to have at that show. Yeah, I was, those Columbus crowds were so crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I love how he was just screaming from the top deck too. I'm so grateful for all of you that come out to the shows. Yeah. I truly am at a point in my time in my life where I'm so grateful. And um, that's why that I don't, like, however long the meet and greet it is, that's how long it is. Yeah, we, we enjoy saying hey to everybody. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, we've done at those theaters, we've done those meet and greets have hundreds and hundreds of people. <sighs> Dude, in that them. one at 42 Music Hall was yeah, bonkers. Man. But I'm, it was awesome. You know what my, I think I've told you this, you know what my uh, point of view on that is? And the reason I'm happy to, to be there for as long as anybody. Because they left their house to come see us. Yeah. And, like, we're on their list. And, yeah. And like, Okay, so sometimes the people are tell me stories and and we talk for a bit. It's never more than like three to five minutes, yeah. right? And it's just, it's look. They left their house. They made plans. They got babysitter, or whatever. They spent money, and so my point of my way of looking at this is, 
in in their eyes too, it's yeah, I can tell this dude a story. It's just three minutes. Mm -hmm. Now those three minutes add up over two hundred fifty people. Yeah, but in their in their world in that, their day, that three just, minutes it's is just, priceless. But it's also just three minutes. Yeah. So I should be able to give them three minutes. Now mm -hmm. that three minutes ad adds up for me, but where the fuck am I going? It's not like I'm I'm already high, so I'm not I'm not. Yep. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be going home and going to sleep. And and I like meeting everybody and thanking them personally. Mm -hmm. So super grateful and and uh, really um, appreciate everybody. You'll hear me talk about my gratitude every week on here, guys. So, or if you come see us, you'll hear him talk about it every week. Yeah, I, it's just something that that's really at the surface of my life right now. So thank you so much. Yeah. Um, hit me with some of the stuff you were talking about today. Um. Okay. So yesterday, first of all. Yeah, okay, so yesterday I went to go register my car in right. the state of Nevada. Got a cool license plate with the Las Vegas sign on it. Is Pretty it Nevada or Nevada? Nevada. Matt, you've heard it both ways? Somebody, because we went into this last week, and somebody on YouTube commented, you wingnuts are pronouncing it wrong, and I had forgotten which way we pronounced it. Nevada. Nevada. Okay. Yeah. Nevada. So he's saying we were wrong, and it's Nevada? I don't remember now. I'm going Nevada. Okay. Nevada. So I registered my car in the state of Nevada. Got a cool uh, license plate. Pretty excited about that. Um, but I want to say, you know, the difference between the California state DMV and the Nevada DMV is light years. I mean, I saw people working at the DMV in Nevada smiling. Come so, on, no way. Sm smiling, that smiling. Doesn't like, in California. No, no, no. The the they have that DMV has sucked the life and the fun out of the people that work there and they're either like, look, if they're not talking to you, like if they ask for something and you hand it to them and they don't talk to you, it means you're doing something right. The minute they talk back to you is when you're going to hear something you really don't want to hear. Do you know what I'm saying? Dude, that, that one DMV in Van Nuys, I think is where COVID started. Oh, yo, I hate Fucking that place. place. Uh, yeah. Damn. You, you could get there at 5 AM, two hours before they open and you're still already in an hour line. Like, hey. Ugh. That that place gives me nightmares. Yeah. It is there's like live chickens running around. It it's is crazy. so hectic. Yeah, I, dude, you, here's a here's the thing. Crazy. You have an appointment there, but you can only get it six months in advance. And then even when you have an appointment and you're there six months later, you're still there for four hours. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I don't understand it. No, it's pretty. And dumb. nobody's nice to you. The security guards are also assholes. Everybody else in line is also pissed off because they're at the DMV. Was like, it you or your sister who failed the driving test there? Oh, wait. Before they even pulled out. Caitlin. She couldn't find the fucking blinker or some shit. Uh, no, it was the hazard lights. Hazard lights. It was the hazard lights, which were legit she failed right in the front test of her. Before she, they had her pull out of the fucking parking lot. That was amazing. Yo, I remember when I first took my driving test, they were doing hand signals. And I go, yo, what the fuck is that? Oh, and, that's right. And you looked at me and you went, you, your driving teacher didn't teach her hand signals? I go, hand signals for what? And he was like, it's in case your blinker doesn't work. He was like, so, so, so this is your left. This is right, apparently, or and something like that. And this is get out of my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know that because my driving teacher had never told me that. Yeah. And so you had to tell me that walking up. But I also failed my first driving test, which was dumb because. I, I, so how yeah. long were you in the DMV? So it was like I had an appointment for noon. I got there. I got the up right at noon. And then there was some mishaps with my insurance because the ID card that my insurance had sent me was only valid until the 21st of June. Mm -hmm. It was the 27th. And so I called them. I go, hey, there's no way I only paid for six months of insurance. And they were like, no, we just have it expire every six months. So I'm going to send you your new one. And I was like, that seems dumb, but yeah. okay. And so I get my new, uh, my new insurance card and I go back up to him. But the great thing about this guy is he was super nice. They weren't super busy. So he was like, step to the side make a phone call. And then when I'm done with this next person, just wait here and I'll take you right away again. And I was like, okay, cool. That's super dope. And I called, got my new thing. And I went back up to him and I go, Hey, so the number you need is still the same. He goes, Oh, this isn't Nevada state insurance. I go, no, it's California. We already talked about that. And he goes, Oh yeah, I can't register your car in the state of Nevada unless you have insurance in Nevada. And I was like, huh. okay. So I stepped to the side for another hour, made another phone call. Canceled my California insurance, got new insurance in Nevada, which is now double, which is a bummer. Yeah. And then I finally go in and I got everything set up. And while I'm waiting there, some guy comes up to me and he, he recognized me. He goes, hey, are you like, is your dad Josh Wolf? And I was like, yeah, man. But this was also one of those interactions where it wasn't for me. 
everything he said was about you. Yeah. So it was, does hey. Does that bother you? <sighs> it's okay if it does. It does a little bit, but yeah. at the same time, it makes me laugh because it's like, you obviously know who he is and you obviously know who I am. So why only say something about the person that's not here? Yeah. It yeah. just is a little more confusing for me. Yeah. Yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah, but it, you also, listen, man, I totally get it. You want to be your own person. Yeah, but yeah, also yeah, it's yeah, happened so it. many times to where I'm just like, yeah, you know, I'm, I, when I worked on Spade, one of the, the front of house guy called me Joshua's son. My whole entire shtick mm, there. That's funny. Christian makes me laugh. So I, there We're going to see Spade and Nikki Glazer this weekend. Woo! Fucking psych. Um, but so he goes, is your dad Josh Wolf? And I go, yeah. And he goes, are your dad super funny? I go, I appreciate it. And then he just walks away. And I was like, okay, cool. Fine interaction, super nice guy. He comes back over. Can you give me a mental picture? What does this dude look like? Just in case I see him in front of my house. <laughs> <laughs> um, ooh. <sighs> Trying to think of how I would like to describe him. How tall? Oh, I was sitting, but he wasn't much taller than me when I was sitting down. So definitely, five, seven. Definitely a white guy. Yeah. Um, Stocky. Short, Be beefy. Sh yeah, he was husky. Husky, okay. husky. I wore husky jeans. As um, a kid. he was in like an all. He was in like a, a tan shirt and tan cargo pants and flip flops, and mm. he had he had slim slim frame glasses on and a baseball cap and AirPods, and some nice little five o'clock shadow going on. Oh, dude, I love this guy. Okay. Um, but he came back with his phone out, and I go, he's gonna ask for a photo, which is totally fine. And he pulls his phone out, and he goes, Hey, can I grab your phone number? And I was like. My phone number? He goes, no, 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 not your phone number. Your dad's. And I look at him. I go, first of all, I, I you he know, he asked for my phone number. It gets better. He goes, and I go, I go, brother, I, I'm not, I'm not giving out either of our phone numbers. But curious has, you know, I have to ask why. And he goes, oh, just to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> And I go, I go, I go, brother, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving out, I'm not giving out uh, phone numbers. And you know what his follow-up was? What? what you, you can't hang out? <laughs> not with murderers. <laughs> not with dudes who look like grimace in people form. Like, let, let me just say. Yo, that, the fact that that was dude. his follow-up. Was was what you can't hang can out, I, and I was like, brother, we don't know who you are. I'm not I, gonna give phone numbers out to strangers. And he went, oh, okay, like he was disappointed, like he thought I was gonna say yes. Like, can can, can I tell you why I'm gonna uh, take like, this as a compliment? Why I'm gonna take this as a compliment? Because you, you seem so approachable. Like because, people know you. Right. Like I take it as a compliment because that dude's like, oh, this guy will hang out with me. Let me just get his number. <laughs> Yo, it was crazy. Yo, let me tell that you something. Was, like, he walked away, and I just put my head in my Yo, hands. You know, I was he went home like, you know he went home like, Josh Wolf's son is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I know Josh would have given me his number. Yeah, this fucking that guy. that shit was... Yeah, that, hey, made, everybody. Me, that, that made me laugh. Yeah, um, listen. Well, shout out to my guy. He was super nice. But like I get it, people think they know us when they see us. Oh, like my god, because our hilarious. personal life is all over Dude. the internet. But yeah, it was a uh, god. God, that was really funny. That is where you can't hang out. Well, I mean, not, not with you, bro. Not with strangers. Yeah, that's was, like when people say. I, I almost looked at him and went, "Hey, brother, you ever heard of stranger danger?" Like, dude, I don't, I don't. There was a woman. Like, didn't your didn't your parents ever teach you not to get in the car with candy like dude, that? <laughs> there was a woman in Charlotte. Right? Ooh. When I used to go to Charlotte, she would oh. make me a tray of cheesy mac and cheese. Tray. Oh, 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 I remember this. And um, three years in a row, she made these tr this tray. And I and I never I said thank you, but never ate it. So the third year Which the, is valid. The third the year way. I said to her, Hey, I want to thank you so much for coming to the shows and for going out of your way to make this mac and cheese. It looks homemade, it looks delicious, but I'm not eating that. And she said, Why not? I said, Well, if you were walking down the street and a stranger handed you a tray of homemade mac and cheese, would you eat it? And she goes, no, but I'm not a stranger. I was like, to me, you are. To me, you are, yeah. I know, I, and here's the thing, guys. I don't think anyone's out to poison me. And no, no, no. But maybe maybe may, get us high. But, but you like, may have like 47 cats at your house. You may not wash your hands. I don't know how clean. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not smart to eat and that's food not, from and, strangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's not us assuming that you are or live as a dirty person. No, I just. But, but we, it's just. Can't nah, take that chance, nah, kind of nah, thing. Nah, nah, I don't blame you. I nah. don't blame you. But yeah, that that was that's hilarious. Yeah, it made me laugh. Um, 
something else also happened yesterday. So my girlfriend and I, Amon, went to go see that new Pixar movie, Elemental. And? Which, by the way, I think was super well done, very well written, a very diverse cast. Did you see Mario Brothers? No. Chris Pratt's voice as Mario was bullshit. You heard his voice as Mario? It no. just sounds like fucking Chris Pratt. Well, what's wrong with that? Everything. He's not Mario. Why didn't you get somebody with a better voice to who, do that? Who? Who's better than Chris Pratt? It's to me. I'm Mario. Like anybody. His like his. Is Mario, that what Mario sounds like? It's to me. I'm a Mario. Give me a. Like get you, me. Can, he, I, can he, I give you? Can I show you Chris Pratt's? Get first? me Chris Pratt. No, get me the one. That, what it's supposed to sound like? You think? And get me Chris Pratt. I. I. You don't think? It's to me. That's to you. No, that's to you. <laughs> nope. That's not it. Yeah, but but who can do that voice? Wait, is that that's it? You guys, this is bullshit. I mean, what what what's wrong with that? No, and no, that 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 was Chris on. Pratt. No, that wasn't Chris Pratt. This is the original. That's, oh, okay, that's the original voice. That's okay. the original. Okay. That's the original guy. Okay. Yeah, but who's that doing? Shut up. Here's Chris Pratt. Did you hear that? Mario Brothers movie. What is this place? That just sounds like Chris Pratt talking. Yeah. What the fuck is going on here? But I would love to hear him go, it's a me, it's a Mario. No, because it just sounds like Chris Pratt saying, it's me, it's Mario. Like, oh, really? He didn't dress up his no, voice at no, all? No, why? Look, here's my thing. If you're going to hire someone to do the voice of Mario, at least make him fucking try. Yeah, like the dude didn't try. He didn't. And, and he didn't even give like, it. He didn't even give any of the uh, offensive Italian. No, it's me. It's no, it doesn't want a spicy meatball. Like yeah. he didn't give any well, of like that. You did that. He, he, fucking, fucking, yeah. Yeah. he didn't give any of that. Like I'm not gonna go see that if he didn't care. Like, uh, what's okay. the point? Okay, that's just me. Okay, because it's a, it's a you, a Jacob. It's a me. It's a Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard it did really well. Like yeah, I heard, dude, it was like uh, Dan Wolf told me that it was five foot ten. Dan Wolf told me uh, five foot eight. Dan Wolf five foot ten. Dan Wolf told me <laughs> that it was because I'm five eleven and a half. That is also false. You are five ten. It's a me a five eleven and a half. <laughs> uh, it's a me a way under what my height is. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here <laughs> with that. So so ele we went to see Elemental. Okay, and for me, like also before it, there was an up short. So now when they release Disney movies, they're releasing like the movie that made me cry. Yeah. So they're releasing like little shorts. Yeah. Like they did like a, a big hero six short in the last one we saw. So they did an up one. And I never saw any of those. Were they good? Big hero six is a superhero movie, brother. It's really? fire. Oh, oh okay. my God. Big hero six is one of my favorites. And I fell asleep in Ratatouille. You, I'm not even getting into that. So the, the up short was called Carl's date. And so it's Carl's first date since Ellie passed. Oh man. And it's only about seven minutes and it's him and Doug. And it's did like, you cry? no, Iman did, but it was, it was awesome. It was super beautiful. Um, not though I thought it was not going to lie. Like my thought of what it was going to be. Cause they kind of teased it. Like the people who saw it, they're like, there's a new up short. So, and they're like, it's Carl's first date. I thought it was going to be, and bear with me. I thought it was going to be his first date. Like his first time going to visit Ellie. Oh no, this is like a date date. Like a legit date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So is, um, he, is he on Tinder? No, no, no. Hilarious no. if he was. It would have been weird. What's an old person Tinder? What would that be called? Uh well, there's Tinder and there's Grinder. Oh, I'm trying. I'm What's that? Older. <laughs> older is funny. Yeah, older. Uh, <laughs> Walker. Yeah, Walker is a good one. Yeah. Um Segway. Cataracts. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hip replacement? That's um, too much. Uh, yeah. But but so anywho, so brittlebones.com. <laughs> I think it'd be brittlebones.gov. Yeah. Dot org. Dot dot, edu. Dot, dot net. Mm. Mm. So Elemental was, I thought, really cool. I thought it was both my girl, both Amon and I figured it was more of a movie for the parents because it was there was uh, an it was based off of an immigration story, yeah, which I thought was really cool. Um, and there were like slight subtle like, obviously it wasn't racist because the movie's called Elemental, and the what you would call the races in the movie are the elements. So it's the four elements: earth, wind, uh, fire, and water. And so there was like a 
it was like a slight racism between elements, which I thought was really interesting, but learning how to get along in one society, the four of them together. So I, can, I thought it was really well written, really well done. Can I say most successful animated films thematically are for grownups? A hundred percent. And the visuals and the jokes <sighs> are for the kids, but in order to get to keep the parents coming back to the Pixar yeah. movies, the themes, the overarching themes are kind of adult. A hundred percent. Like, yeah, yeah. but there were a couple kids in there who I was looking at and I go, yo, they're not going to understand how like, but they don't, they're no, not they, there. They don't 100%, need to understand the hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. But I think this was like, I think this is a really important movie for people okay. to see. Awesome. Like I really enjoyed it. I think the writing was really good. Um, voiceovers were great. Smooth, the music was good. Yeah, I thought I, uh, I, all all in all, I'd, I'd give Elemental. I think I'd give Elemental a nine out of ten. Wow! I really enjoyed it. I think it was well done. Okay, um, and I would say go see it for sure. My next movie that I'm going to see is Spider Man into the, the Spider Verse. The, yeah, I want to see that. Do you know what an editor just released and said? There I, I, the, there's wait, wait. Oscar buzz for this movie. Oh, wait for this though. There are multiple different versions of Spider Verse out in theaters right now. No. Like you're in a multiverse. They have released three or four different versions where there are one or two lines in the same exact scene that are different. I love that. How awesome is that? That's awesome. Like, uh, it's such well, it, great marketing. It's so, too. it's so creative. Yeah, it's such great like, marketing. But yeah, I heard this one's better than the first movie. The first yeah. movie was pretty fire. Oh, and yeah. that soundtrack was so fucking good. Yeah. So I'm very excited for this one. Oh, and guess what comes out this weekend? Bum, ba dum, ba. Oh, can't oh, wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Oh, and then Mission Impossible. Dude. Oh my God. Uh, there's a, for the first time in a really long time. <coughs> bless you. Thank I you. am so eager to go to the movies. Am I hitting your That's my shoot. Don't worry about Sorry. it. Sorry. I'm so eager to go to the movies. Yeah, I'm Especially excited. Especially in this next month. Like there's so, there's three things out. I that want to I, see Spider Man. I want to see Indiana Jones. I'm going to see Mission Impossible. Yep. I will go see Spider Well, you're going to see that with a month. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're probably, we might, not going to lie, I might go see Indiana Jones this weekend. It comes out on the 30th. I know, so. I just don't want to be in that line, in that theater, in that. <sighs> Plus, we're going to go see Spade and Nikki on Saturday. Right. I'm going to look up tickets for this weekend for Indiana Jones. Yeah, I, maybe two. And just see what it looks like, because yeah, maybe I some, think. Maybe every, Monday, maybe. Yeah, I think everybody's really, but don't forget, it's also summer, so. On uh, the day before 4th. Okay. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, yeah I, I definitely have some movies that I want to see. I'm very excited. But I will say. Being there last night, you know, this, the AMC that we go to, which is the movie theater, is notorious for having that that line for snacks be extra long. Mm -hmm. Good Lord. And so we were there. We waited in line for about 20 minutes almost. And I'm about, there's one, there's two people in front of me and then it's me and I'm on right behind them. And this guy runs over from the bar and he starts like clicking out a cash register. And I thought he was like trying to order himself some food. And then he looks at me and he goes, pss, pss, and I look over and he goes, and he brings me to a cash register. And he says to me, which by the way, this is a first, celebrities don't have to wait in line. You, someone called you a celebrity? I was like, wow, well, first of all, that's very nice of you. Second of all, don't know if I'd even consider myself a celebrity yeah, because yeah. I don't think most people would, which... Google definition of celebrity. I'm so curious. Okay. I wonder what that definition is because I bet you fit... Because I don't consider myself a celebrity either. The first thing I typed up when I typed in celebrity says celebrity cruise ships. Yeah. Definition of celebrity. I, because uh, A famous person. The state of being well known. I, I would say you're a celebrity. <sighs> okay. I like, don't think so. I, I don't think so either because you're my yeah, dad. Yeah. But that's just what that is. But like... I think it's okay. Go but you know, keep going. It was it was very nice. Like, look when when we were on Australia, that was also like a first big like taste for you and I going around, walking around, and having people on the streets just like rush us was was, was so crazy. on the other side of the planet was yeah. it was absurd. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this is like some this is like for real, and crazy. it's kind of nuts. Yeah, and then for someone to do it in Vegas, like, and he was like, yeah, and, and I felt bad though because the the people who we had just cut had been waiting there just as long, if not longer than yeah, we had. Yeah. It and it makes I'll, me uncomfortable too. It, and yeah. And like, look the dude, and I won't say his name, even though he had a great fucking name, super nice guy. Shout out to this dude. Uh, I grabbed his number so we can get him into the extravaganza because I want him to come say what's up. Okay. Um, and 
super nice guy. I just, it made me feel a little uncomfortable almost cutting those people. And had, had the movie not been starting right when I got to the front, you know, I, I wanted to buy the other people's like candy or a drink or, or like a, yeah, a popcorn. The people you cut. Yeah. I just, I just felt bad because I know if that had been me and someone had jumped in front of me that I didn't know and the guy was like, well, celebrities don't have to wait. I'd be like, yo, what the fuck? But now also, also I have no reason to get upset because I was, I literally gotten dragged to the front. Yeah. But I, I felt like, what, what would you do there? Because I felt really bad and I felt a little uncomfortable almost. But again, there was no ill intent whatsoever. He yeah. wasn't trying to, to no, screw anyone he over. He, he was just a nice guy. And, and he the, said, at, the, at the heart of it, dude, he was excited to see you. A hundred percent. Like he had sprinted over from the bar to right. just get like, and it was really nice of him and a really nice guy. And I can't wait to see him at a show and, you know, love, love, love. But what, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that, that kind what, of stuff. What would you do? That kind of stuff, especially in front of other people. That's the thing. It makes me really uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. we grew up regular people. Well, we are regular people. Right, right. And, and, That's what I'm saying. And, I was and, raised and, and, and we were regular people. I'll say this. People you consider celebrities are also regular, regular people, people, right? And Just so with I, I a lot more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but so for me, that stuff makes me uncomfortable too in front of other people and being elevated to like I'm better than someone else. To be being elevated in front of other people yeah, makes, yeah, yeah. in that way. And I, my instinct would have been to do the same thing. I would have said, cool, but I'm going to buy their, I, I'm going to order their uh, yeah, stuff for them. I just didn't want to miss the up thing that was coming at the beginning. No, no, I'm with you. And I, but I, yeah, I just felt really bad and I wanted to try and do something for them. But the minute I started ordering my food, they got called up to the next register. So I felt yeah, a little yeah. less bad. I would have tell you, I would have felt way worse if I had been at the back. <sighs> Me too. Right. I was practically at had, the front. You had done your time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. And here's the thing. Like, and he said, sorry, it took me so long to get over here. And I was like, brother, th I, this is part of what happens in the movies. Like well, yeah. you wait in line. It is what it is. Yeah. Like, it's not a big deal, but I appreciate you even making an effort and running over to 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 now, even just say what's up. Now, like, at the same time, like, if, yeah, okay, if we walked into a restaurant. Oh, and, and they were like, come grab a table. I'd be like, yeah, okay. Yeah. And they were like, there's an hour wait, but we can get you in right now. I've been like, yeah, I could take, I'll take that. Yeah. A hundred percent. I'll take that. Like, they, look, again, there are certain things yeah. like the yeah. restaurant, a hundred percent. Like if we went to, for some reason we went to Hell's Kitchen. And they were like, well, the, the list is two hours, but our manager, you know, has recognized you so we can get you a table now. I'd be like, yeah, fucking right. Yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah. But it's but, interesting though. You know, I, yeah. I, one thing I actually am working on, on myself is, I don't know why I feel guilty about that. I, I, do you I, know what I mean? Like, I, I like, you know why, but, because, but, I, but I, but I shouldn't feel guilty because somebody else wants, I, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still really in between on that. Yeah. Yeah. It, and I think you have to do what makes you feel the most comfortable. I, I, I had said no originally, but then I felt uncomfortable that he kept urging me and making like trying yeah, to get me to come I'm, forward. I'm so I just kind of gave in. And then I went to turn to apologize to the gentleman behind me. And he was like, look, man, like if you're going to do it, that's fine. But like, like just like handle your shit yeah. and don't sit there and just talk about it. And yeah. I was like, facts, you're right. You're right. And I ordered all my shit right away. Yeah. Like I was with OG. Like he was right. He was like, look, cool and all, but like handle your business. And I was yeah. like, got you, got you. My bad, my bad. Um, but I, I, sh I should have bought OG and his daughter uh, what they wanted. Do for you sure. know what OG stands for? Original gangster. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I mean, just like I didn't know if you knew what Bermuda Triangle was. Yeah, you tested me. Yeah, no. Uh, any like, uh, any like older dude. Like when I when I see Devon and his dad, like Devon's OG. Uh, Devon's dad is OG. Like we, that's just that's just what it is. Yeah. Um, and it's the same with like just like older dudes. Like dudes when I see playing pickup basketball, if it's like one of the older guys that I've seen for a long time, OG or um, dude. Yeah, just shit like that. I did something so stupid at the gym yesterday. Oh God. What going to the gym? No, that <laughs> I'm just kidding. That does not feel stupid. I okay. This is why I can't take classes because I'm a competitive guy. You're gonna yeah yeah like I would love to see you in like a Peloton class trying to spin faster than the instructor. Just Good can't God, take the classes. Ugh. So I'm in the gym and there's this dude, and he's. Lifting next to me, and um, he's way bigger than me. But I'm looking at the weights. I'm like, 
I think I can do that. Oh my god! Because I know where I'm at. I know how. I know how. E- like how easy he's only. You know, he wear dumbbells and and so <laughs> that is the. So this was he way bigger than you? He was big dude. Why that? But it's like trying to keep up with a British dude drinking. It's not going to happen. Exponentially, like if you compared what he was lifting in his size to what I was lifting in my size, yeah, it was probably his warm up set. Okay, no, 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 no. So I'm like I, and he's a lot of grunting and a lot of dropping of weights, which I hate when people work out like that. I don't mind the grunting. Don't drop. Don't throw your weights down. I, is it is it dumbbells or the bar? Dumbbell. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't throw your dumbbells around. The bar, if you have to drop it, that's fine. Well, it depends but on the exercise. E- you're not dropping a bench. You're putting your rack in it. Well, yeah. Okay. But, like, but if you're doing no, a deadlift. If you're deadlifting yeah, or yeah, if you're yeah. doing a squat and you fail at the bottom, but that's yeah. what those bars are for. Yeah, but yeah, still, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not throwing nut. Or a clean. Like and anything, by the way, if it's powerlifting, like, I, I get it. I'm even okay with the grunt. Because, yeah. right? But don't throw your shit around. And, it, and so, I, and this is just my little pet peeve. And so I'm like, I'm going to, when he drops that, the one he was struggling with, I'm going to ask him if he's done. And I'm going to do it. So he drops it. And I go, you done with those? And he goes, yeah. I go, you mind? And dude. You couldn't even pick him up. I get down there. And they were, we're, we're benching, right? Can I, can I know how heavy they were? For the dumbbells? Yeah. How heavy were each dumbbell? If you say what I think you're going to say, I, however, the dumbbells. 65s. Oh, that's not that bad. For me, it is. Well, for you, it is, but I, that's not as high as I thought it was going to be. No, no, no. For, for me, it's 65, especially with the tendonitis in this. And your shoulders. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, the sh- your shoulders you probably couldn't even get it up right here, like get it up past because it. Because of the torn. Yeah, the, the labrum. Right? So I get <laughs> Fuck. And the guy's looking at me. Cause he, 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 he wants to see you do it. He's like, gotta be, gotta have 35, 40 pounds. He that. wants to see you do it. He's like, is this dude? Not only just dude, this old dude. Was it an incline? Was it just a regular bench? Reg- incline bench? Regular bench. So dumbbell bench. Okay. okay. And I get it to my knees and I throw it over and I'm right here. And you can't get up. Oh, and my left arm goes straight up because my left arm is, my yeah. shoulder's not fucked up. Left arm goes straight up, and the right arm dude goes, it just collapsed right on my chest. <laughs> it oh just went, my it just went, God. Gunk, because my my elbow just gave. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it was so How'd that feel? embarrassing. It felt like a 65-pound weight falling on my yeah, chest. Yeah, I bet it did. You got a bruise today or no? <laughs> I have a little trouble <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, it was so oh, embarrassing. That is hilarious. And the guy says to me, he goes, he goes, oh, he help me. And I started laughing. He goes, dude, I didn't know that was a, that's a lot of weight for a guy your size. And I started laughing. He go, and I, I go, I was, I just, I was trying to compete with you. And he was like, you what? I go, I just, I saw you doing it. I was like, I can do it. And then I can't do it. He was yeah. like, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah, he was like, watch yourself, old timer. Oh, yeah, that God. is. Awesome. Um, all right. I love that. Well, we're right about that time. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We got we got a couple more minutes. I think we started a little after yeah, yeah, two, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, what else? I feel like there was someone else I wanted to. If not, there is one other. You go. I can't remember. There is one other thing that I want to get into. Okay. So I found another snake on our walk. I saw one on the side of the road. Well, you I, I saw one give that was, me an idea of what you think that snake is. Stay away. If I'm correct. Any idea? Oh, uh, actually, can will I you, can I please? Yeah. Will you hold that up to the camera? So, okay, so for my first thought, because it's that bright of a color, was coral snake. Yeah, that's what I thought. But the coral but, snakes uh, aren't in the uh, desert. Uh, the coral are snakes are tropical. Because yeah. the coral reef, right. like they stay near the water. Right, right. So, right. and coral snakes are really dangerous. Really, really, really. By the way, you know there's a difference between poisonous and venomous, right? No, it's what? So, if I'm correct, if I'm correct, there is a difference. Poisonous will kill you, venomous will not. You just said both won't. No, I said poisonous will kill you, venomous will not. You said poisonous won't kill you, venomous will not. No, I said will. Won't. 
You have old hearing. You can't hear me. What do you mean old hearing? What? That's what kind of old hearing I is. I do. My left ear is a little wonky. Exactly. So relax over there. Um, <sighs> here, let me see that. But I want to say like corn snake, but that's also not right because they're a different. They're like reddish almost. But look. Can I see his head? The death head? Are they? Oh, was this a dead snake? Dude, this thing's head was looked like it was cooked. Look at that fucking thing. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yeah. Will you hold it up again? Bummer. Uh, yeah, there you go. Can I can I zoom out on this? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Indiana was very interested. It freaked me the fuck out though, man. Yo, yesterday was the first time he started to tippy tappy. Yeah. He Milo said, Milo did it this morning when he just stepped outside. He was like, Oh, it's fucking hot. It's out fucking here. warm out. Yeah. yeah. He was like, ha, ha, We're ha, finally ha, hitting plus hundred. Yo. But yo, I, I saw We had him on the treadmill. Guess what? MPH. 25. 30. Jesus Christ. Take that. This dude was straight up. Whoa. Yeah. And by the way, before you guys freak out, he generates his own power. Yeah. It's so we don't set yeah, it yeah. at 30. He just starts to run. But yo, dude, I, I saw, this is now, remember I told you I've, I've been here a year. I hadn't seen a snake. Third snake, right? Third snake. And now two scorpions. Ooh. I haven't seen that one yet either. Yo, dude, the scorpion is a real deal. So oh, I, I wouldn't leave that back door open if oh, you have. Oh, I don't. Okay, yeah, because the scorpion in the house feels muy bad for your little buddy. Yeah, but I saw a snake on the side of the highway that I for sure had just been wrecked by a car. How big a snake was it that you saw on the side of the highway? Thick. I mean, you ever seen the side of the highway where those pieces of tire are just sitting there? Yeah. I thought it was one of those. That's how big it was. What color? Rattlesnake. Oh, dude. For sure. It was it was like brownish with a lighter tan diamond on the back of it, like the pattern. And I was like, that, yo, no joke, was probably an eight-foot rattlesnake. I got to tell you. It was gigantic. And it was on the side of the road. Sounds like it would suck. I got bit by a snake when I was like seven. A, a rattlesnake? No, I still got bit by a snake. Oh, dude, I can't wait to. I got to keep telling that story on stage. What, am I getting bit by the, the snake? Yeah. When have you been telling that story? Remember I told it in Raleigh? I told the snake story and feeding the snake. And oh, the, oh, the feeding the snake. Yeah, but you didn't I tell, tell, you didn't the tell them where I got bit by it. I should tell that. Because it's the best part is when they turn, you turn around and that snake's just oh hanging God, from my middle so finger. I still have those two little marks. Dude, I still remember me telling you, the snake is your responsibility. You got to take care of this snake. And you were like, okay. And that night I went and just to check on where the snake was, make sure everything was okay. First night with the snake. He was chilling in bed with me. And I walk in and there's no snake in the whatever aquarium. Not aquarium. What's it called? You could. Uh, it's an aquarium. An aquarium, aquarium doesn't has... necessarily have water in it. An aquarium? What that you, that well, glass thing? Uh, hold on, hold on. Is an aquarium. No? Terrarium. terrarium. Thank Aqua you. Aqua means water. Thank you. Because Terra when you go to an aquarium, earth, one of the yeah. only things that are there, giant tanks filled with water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So terrarium. Thank you. Yeah, but it only makes it a terrarium because there's earth stuff in it. Because Terra is earth. Yeah. Yes. That's what I just said. Don't pretend like you knew what that was. What do you, you said? You, you said there's only earth stuff in there because it's a terrarium. And then I said, yeah, because Terra is earth. That's what I was just adding on to it. Of the earth. Anywho. So I go in and the terrarium is empty and I go, I'm, just, I'm like, that's weird. And I look at you and you're in your bunk bed and I'm like, Jacob. And you're like, yeah, you were like five, maybe six. Yeah. No. Five. That Bellingham house five. This was a Bellingham. Was it? Buddy, we got the snake in Bellingham. No, we didn't. We got the snake at Laurelwood. No, dude. We brought the snake with us from Bellingham to Laurelwood. Oh, we did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I remember when we got rid of the snake, it was in... That was in Laurelwood. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Wait, so, really? Yeah. Oh. And so you're in your top of your bunk, and I go, buddy. And you're like, yeah. And you're like, I said, where's the snake? And you were like, what? I go, where's the snake right now? And you just pulled back your covers, and you had it sleeping on your chest. Yeah, he was chilling. We were and, just hanging out. What's go, the problem? I go, what are you doing? And you, were, you said, you said, take care of the snake. I'm like, keep it in the cage. Why? What's that, the whole point of having a pet? I can't take out of a cage. That's why snakes aren't pets. Why? Why am I allowed? Snakes aren't pets. That's fish fine. aren't pets. They're not pets. Fine, whatever. But why am I allowed to have a pet that I can't take out of a cage? That's what you wanted. 
But he wasn't uh, aggressive at all. So when, He bit you? What do you yeah, mean he wasn't aggressive? Because he wasn't eating for days. How was that? Okay, first of all, he just wasn't feeling good. He didn't eat for a couple days. And then, remember, he didn't eat for a couple days. And then I had I went to take him out of his cage so we could feed him. And that's when he bit me. Yeah, dude, that seems aggressive. He was obviously in some form of discomfort. Yeah, he did. He it was it was but a he, weird remember, little buddy. We, yeah, he he just was acting a little weird. We ended up giving him away after that because we didn't want to have to deal with it. Which do is you fair. remember you had that reptile guy at your at birthday party? Jake the Snake, or or Jake, Jake the Snake was a wrestler, but you had it was like Rob the Reptile Man. Did Jake the Snake rob the reptile? Close enough. Yeah, Jake the Snake <laughs> was one of the best shit talkers of all time in wrestling. He Ro was so different on the mic. Jake the Snake, dude. Yeah. If you're a wrestling fan, I don't doubt we have very many wrestling fans that listen to this podcast. Hey. But old school Jake the Snake on the mic was one of the fucking straight up goats. Yeah. he. I didn't love him too much in the ring until he took the snake out and put it on you. But he, but Jake the Snake was, woo. Didn't I meet Steve Irwin once? You met Steve Irwin, yeah. We need to find that picture. I'm going to need that. I I know somebody's got it somewhere. Bet you I threw it away. What a dick. Why? Can I tell you, because the difference between when you were a kid and even especially like when I was a kid, like maybe my parents took four pictures of me a year. Birthday. Right, but Steve Irwin. Holidays, like family gathering. Maybe I snuck into a picture at one of my other brother's birthdays. And school picture and my little league picture. Six pictures a year. That's all we got. That's, look, in all honesty, I'm fine with that too. But that's not my point. Is I as, did take one with you and Steve Irwin. It's got to be somewhere. There's yeah, no way you threw I that photo out. I just don't remember where it is. I, 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 I'm thinking about all I the, bet you mom knows where it is. That's probably a good bet. Uh, it might be in the storage unit. Yeah, yeah, there's some great pictures. You know what? You know what? There's a lot of pictures in that storage unit you haven't seen in a long time because Do you, know you can't go is, touch it. You know what else is generational? Everybody my age has like naked pictures in a photo album. Oh, of like naked your, baby? Parent, your parents took pictures of you in the bathtub when you were five and you were naked.